So we got back late last night. Need to feed Buck there quickly. But we pulled in everything. I'm going to have to get it back and put away here quickly. So let's get to it. So I'm going to back this off here and park it back in the shed. Don't know if we'll be using it. I still might uh, round or roll my uh, corn over here, over there to the side, but uh, haven't decided. If I do, I'll probably just sell that because I don't need them uh, that much uh, corn stalks. So now I'm gonna go park this uh, trailer that we didn't even use. Alright, unhitch this. So I'm gonna just park this to the side here quickly. Uh, don't know if I'll hook it up back to the grain cart just yet, but don't know how I'm gonna use this next, so I just won't waste my time. Uh, Jim did call, says he wants some help, so guess Jim has a big project he wants us to do. Uh, after I check the cattle and everything, I'll probably head over there. Just gotta park this trailer and then we are done. I'll probably just drive this truck over there, check the cattle quickly, and then uh, head over to Jim's. Alright, the trailer is unhitched. Uh, I need to just go check these cattle quick. Before we head over to Jim's. So I guess Jim has a big project. Jim has been looking to put in some bin sets. He finally found uh, a company that can install some bins. Uh, the only problem is is uh, we weren't really planning on this company being available because they are so backed up but something fell through with another customer so now they're here. Uh, so we are in a rush to clear out a piece of land. Uh, Jim really needs my help, but I mean the corn should go today. My corn, also Jim's corn. So, uh, but we need some storage for Jim because uh, he can't take that uh, serious loss at the elevator that he would be getting with the wetter corn. So the plan is to run down there and check that. Looks like some more corn got picked right there. So we're not the only ones in the field so far. I know Jim's uh, a little nervous because he needs to be in the field with all his uh, ground he has to cover, but uh, uh, he also needs some storage because of the construction, the bin company basically being booked out because everyone's buying bins nowadays. Uh, he couldn't get them right away. Lucky for Jim, a contract fell through, so now he can get bins when he actually needs them. The problem is they're just going to, uh, they're right in the middle of harvest. Looks like uh, Jim got all the harvest equipment back here. Uh, so we're just harvesting right on the other side of that uh, the tree claim. So we are basically going to be, uh, he's going to show me where he wants the bin started at and then I need to start hauling some heavy uh, dirt moving equipment over there to uh, start up uh, bulldozing an area to clear out. It's fairly close to his farmyard but as you can see uh, we don't have a lot of room around here so they're actually going to go right here so we have to do a little bit of uh, uh, construction basically as you can see, this is kind of a uh, not flat area here. So we're going to have to level this off. You definitely want a bin level, otherwise all the bins not going to be structurally... The bin isn't going to be structurally sound and basically fall to pieces. But we're going to clear off this. I know he said he purchased some uh, bins from one of the farmers he plans on putting up here too. So some of the bins are going to be from... Uh, local farmers, some of them are going to be new. It just depends on what he has going here. So we need to uh, get some equipment over here. So I need to get back, 
start hauling some uh, equipment he leased so we can clear off this road. All right, we're back. We're going to use his semi here to start hauling some of the equipment he leased. So we've got to unhitch this trailer, so we got to lower this down here. All right, so we're going to head down to... Uh, it's basically the town right next to us here. They have a huge leasing business, so you can just lease the equipment. The only problem is Jim's tried to save some money on the transportation side. All right, we are headed back. We definitely got a high load. We have to watch out for the power lines like this right here. Oh no, I'm gonna have to go around that. I guess I'm gonna have to go ways around that uh, power line there. All right, so we went around that uh, high line line. Oh man, looks like we got another one coming up here. Man, I just have to go around and around this short drive, so it's only a 10 mile drive, it's turning into like a 30 mile affair here. Alright, so I got in the, the excavator right there and I lowered the arm just a little bit. I know it's kind of cantered and everything, I'm just going to get past this, then I'm going to get back into it and uh, fix it right. So. Yeah, just barely uh, cross that line. I didn't want to have to drive 20 miles just to go around that, so. All right, I'm gonna get back in it. All right, shut this, close this down here, away from the cab. There we go. Try to finesse my way around where I had it before. All right, and it locks right into place there. All right, so that didn't work. wasn't too bad. I was really worried we we're gonna have to uh, call the power company or drive 20 miles, one of the two. We're through that obstacle now. I mean, this is only the first load that I have to unload here, so. I think this is where we're gonna unload all the equipment at. Alright, ramps are loader, lowered. Alright, so I've got to turn or start up this case uh, payloader here and use this to move the, uh, most of the dirt around. And this thing is kind of nice inside. Most uh, rental vehicle or uh, big equipment like this are all trashed inside because no one cares about them, but this thing looks almost brand new inside. Uh, it's got some uh, like iPad on the side there. It shows you about everything you need to know. All right, so we'll leave that right there for now. All right, start this up. Wrong direction. All right. Kind of seems like I'm kind of far back. I need to get closer to my uh, controls up there, but oh well. Got to get the ramps back up here. All right, ramps are locked in. So we got to go get our next... Uh... All right, so our next load we got here. Got a uh, road grader coming. So basically it'll help us uh, level off all of the area we need to uh, flatten for the bin set. Man, is Jim gonna have a big lease bill for all this stuff. And I uh, unload this, and then I think Jim wants me to go pick up some of uh, the, the tin, basically the bin supplies, the leg and all that stuff. All right, we're gonna back this off there here quickly. Forgot to raise up the blade there. Well, it didn't damage the trailer. A no no. Alright, so we're heading down here. So we got the cover trailer loaded up with some supplies. This is a Jim's trailer that is hid from me. I mean, this thing is kind of nice. Might have to borrow this from time to time. Being a hired hand for Jim is kind of nice. So I think I'm going to put this kind. Uh, I don't know exactly, but we're going to put it where it's convenient to have 
and uh, where it's not too in the way when we're uh, leveling out this land here. Just because I want to save my back, I'm going to go get his uh, telehander and uh, help unload this thing. Alright, so we're going to drive uh, Jim's Bobcat telehander here and we're going to start unloading some of the supplies that's in that trailer. A lot of supplies that he needs to unload. I think I'm going to have to go back even for another uh, load there quickly. So, probably good that we're getting all these supplies out. Alright, so I've unloaded the second load that we have here. So we have a whole bunch of supplies, a little concrete, a lot of wood supplies. Uh, that, that's for the leg. We got some more of the tin supplies in this, uh, this little uh, container there. Uh, we got all the metal. It looks like some of this stuff is used. I don't know exactly what's going on here, but... This is what Jim says he needs. We still have a couple more supplies we need to get, but that should be good for now. So Jim wants me to uh, go over. So I guess there are some bins that he wants to move. So shut this off. But first, before we start moving that, I need to make a little uh, nicer driveway so we can uh, easily pull this in. So the plan is somewhere around about right here. We're going to start leveling off and then I'm going to level this all off here in the center. And then uh, and out right over here somewhere, kind of by the diner. So we need to level this off right here. So that's the goal. So I think first I'm going to use the excavator. Or actually the payloader. I have a move a lot of dirt, so I'm going to use a payloader to move a lot of that dirt first. Basically, I need to clear off a nice little roadway here. About here should be good. So I need to clear this nice and flat there. Alright, so we're clearing this off. Got to take a lot of this dirt off. I'm going to have to even this out somewhere. I'm just basically dumping it right here. I'll level this as best as possible here. Alright, so that's the best I could basically do with this uh, payloader right here. Uh, obviously the rest is going to be used by either the excavator or the, the, the road grader. So I'm going to start working on the other side there. I think I got this fairly smooth, to be honest. I'm kind of impressed by my work there. I'm going to have to use a road grader to make sure I get all the dirt that I'm putting on the highway here so I don't get a fine. Scraping this off now. And like I said, we got to move a lot more dirt on this side than we do the other side. They don't. They definitely put the road kind of lower, which you don't usually see. Usually you see the road up higher for drainage purposes, but I don't know. It's kind of a weird area, I guess. So gotta clear all this off, so I'm gonna level this off the best I can. This uh, road grader here. It does have a little GPS leveling there, so it works a little bit better than uh, the eye, I should say. Alright, so I got this fairly level, as level as I could do with this. I don't have a ton of experience with these, so I'm not the best person, I guess, to be running this, but I'm probably the cheapest person for Jim's sake. I think now that we have a little area so we could drive the bins up and everything, Jim's going to want me to uh, go pick up them bins there. I need to unhitch this trailer and hitch up another trailer. I really like this trailer though. The drop deck kind of has a nice little ramp on it. Alright, we'll unhitch this right here. Nice and flat ground to have it. You know, go get the other trailer that will work with this bin. Jim's following us with a big boom truck he rented to uh, pick up these bins. We're going to get up here, I think he said it should be turn, where, where is it, 
where is this at? Oh, I think that's where they're at. Yep, yep, that's where they're at. So I'm going to turn in over here and uh, hopefully get... Uh, where should I go? I think just right here. This ground's kind of on level, so this might be kind of hard with the boom these back on here. So we'll try. I think we're going to start out right here. It's right by an old lumber company, so they don't want these uh, bins anymore. So we got them for a good price. So we actually had some problems with that boom truck, so I had to go back, uh, go lease another boom truck. So the, for whatever reason, one of the hydraulic cylinders wasn't working correctly, so they just uh, basically said to uh, come back and chariot it out for another one. All right, so we will get this unfolded. Fold that out. Yeah, this thing stretches out a lot farther than the other one did. All right, so now we lift this boom up. There we go. Get that up as high as possible. I don't think I got far enough back, so I'm going to... You usually shouldn't do this because you're kind of high center. Your center of gravity is really high, but I'm going to unfold that really quickly. I'm gonna back up right there. Alright, so that is good. So we'll lift that trailer, so I just had to back this up underneath it. Alright, we'll back this up. Now lift it up and then just put it right on there. All right, so we got it placed very carefully sideways on this trailer. So these bins, they have a lot of uh, support when they're standing straight up, but not a lot when they're sitting sideways like this. They kind of lose a lot of their uh, structurability. Or... So we will end up pulling this back, and then we'll uh, Jim will take this uh, loader here and uh, hopefully unload it there quickly. Big issue on the way back is we are gonna have to move some high line lines, so we're gonna we call the city and they are going to help us out. If you see, I'm being very careful because I'm pretty close to a high line power line right there, so I don't want to ground out the truck. So I gotta easily drive on this side of the road. All right, so this is where we're gonna need them. So they're gonna come over here and uh, move these down for us. They are here, they're gonna lower these down so we can get past right now. So they are reconnecting the lines right there and then we're gonna have to need them again for this last set right here. So we're gonna lower these. So we have to wait for them to basically uh, lower them down. All right, so they're gonna lower these high line lines down for us. Uh, Jim looks like he's waiting behind me. I don't know why he just doesn't go over there and start unfolding, but we, they will lower these and then reconnect them. All right, we are past them high line lines, so they'll reconnect them. So I don't know why they're reconnecting them when we have all them bins to still uh, move, but. They don't want the power to be off for a long period of time, so we're gonna race over here, get this bin unloaded, get all three of them over here, and then uh, probably start flattening out some grounds we could start building. So I forgot about that last set of uh, high line lines right there, so they already uh, attached them and reattached, so we are good to go. So we're just gonna pull this up, you know, put this over here, Jim's going to have to show me where he wants this. We will get this place down and uh, start moving the rest of them. All right, got this down here, so we need to attach that. That's going to be kind of hard to attach it, so... going to have to carefully climb up this bin and attach this hook down there. All right, we got it attached. Now we just need to lift that up and uh, remove the, put this bin straight up there. All right, so we got two of the bins set here, so he doesn't know exactly where he wants them yet, so we're, we're just going to leave the last one set up here before we uh, 
end up uh, doing anything with it just in case we have to move them around so he, uh, he wants to see how the rest of the bins the bin will go up so now we need to level this all down so we'll get the road grader over here level this whole area down for him first you gotta scrape this all off scrape scrape this get this nice and graded off and then we'll start leveling the best we can all right i think that'll be about as far as we'll go we'll back up here start scraping this whole area off as best as we can and uh gonna have to level this i don't know we'll probably have to bring a laser out here just to uh, see how good we uh leveled but i'm not the best i'm this is not my normal i'm, I'm a farmer so this is i'm just kind of winging it right now all right so we got most of this uh done here so i'm still just scraping so i've been scraping for hours it seems like so uh got that uh the payloader there and it's kind of pulling up that pile because we're trying to we're getting a lot of dirt on that side because we're basically all pushing it to that side i don't know exactly how we're going to do this uh going to have to uh raise this a little bit or we're just going to have to put a drainage ditch on this side so it doesn't flood the, the bins we'll have to figure out something to do here it looks like we are almost ready to uh, set the bins down so probably have to scrape out a little bit more over there but other than that i think we're about ready to go dug a little trench here so we're gonna basically have uh, underground lines running so all the water from above there just runs down into this trench that's lowered and then if we have to we can always drain this and uh, basically move this so that way the bins don't flood All right, so we already struck a little bit of water here. We got a little bit of water down there. So now all we need to do is uh, put some cement down. So we got to get the cement truck here and put some cement down for the placement of the bins. We should be ready to go. I'm about to leave, already packing. Come with me, I'm not really asking. We'll get away to a place where we don't know.
right, so we got this hooked back up here. So we got to take some of this stuff back. So we got everything built up. So Jim definitely has a huge set of bins. So these, not exactly the size of these, but these bins are gigantic. Uh, that one's a little bit smaller, but these should be about 50,000 bushel. I might be a little bit off or 20,000 and these are 30 something like that but this is definitely enough for him so we got these little small bins here for uh, winter wheat or that type of stuff or uh, specialty grains so we got them and then we also got uh, little mixers here so we could dry and we could have a wet bin so this is the wet bin and then it goes to the dryer right here and then it goes to wherever it needs to from there so it, it's a pretty nice setup it has its own little uh weigh scale right here so you could weigh you just have to uh back up and weigh so there's no use of having two so you basically drive this way weigh unload and then you weigh again so it's convenient that way so that way you only need one scale you definitely don't want two Jim lucked out because the contractor uh, definitely uh, wasn't scheduled to come this early so I know you know cement drying and all that stuff and been going up it's just not realistic to do it in a few days it's not realistic to do it in a few weeks most of the time legs all that stuff takes serious time unless you really got a major contractor and a major company but well uh, he got this all set up and we are ready to uh, start unloading in it I just got to clear up some of this junk over here but thank you all for watching and I will see you later here in Oregon thank you all for watching like comment and share and subscribe see you next time